it's been about five weeks since the fire went through this area, though there are still burning logs over there. We've been coming up regularly to see what sort of fungi comes up. Oh, there's something. The Pyrophyllus fungi that loves to come up after fires. And we found a new one here. It's a creamy white and has gills like a normal field mushroom would. But it's definitely growing in the ash and it prefers, seems to prefer the track of an old log that has burnt. There might have been a log that was this high that's just burnt down to charcoal. So the ground underneath will have been totally sterilized down to a certain depth. And these mushrooms are growing. Now this is a perfect example to show what these mushrooms are like. There's all the mycelium growing and the little mushrooms coming up. It's really quite a beautiful little environment. The mycelium will have come into the sterilized soil. No competition, nothing else will grow there and occupied that very quickly and then produced fruiting bodies. But they're all over. You go through and you clear away leaf litter. Like here, I just started clearing away the leaf litter and it's full of mushrooms. Now we'll have to go back and find out from some of our expert friends what these mushrooms actually are because they're new to me. I haven't actually seen them before. They're likely to be a species that doesn't come up unless there is fire because most of the species at the moment are like that. They only fruit when there's fire. When we're heading into a time when there's likely to be more fires, it's probably very important to understand how the mushrooms help the forest regenerate. And this fungi fairly clearly is quite important in the regeneration of the forest after fire. 